Hi and welcome. I wanted to create this video on how to help your husband or wife, girlfriend or boyfriend through their depression or low mood, whatever you both decide to, to call it. So the best thing to do is not to fight their feelings. Some of the worst things that you can say to somebody that is feeling low, negative, depressed, is tell them that they've got loads of things to be happy about, to try to convince them that they need to look on the bright side of life, because most people already know that they would like to feel more positive, they would like to see more positive things, and they certainly don't need it pointed out to them. And often, this can make them then want to just shut down and not speak to you, not open up to you, and then this is gonna isolate them further, and this is not gonna help the relationship, and it's certainly not gonna help them. Because one of the things that is really important to help people through depression is to have social interaction to feel loved, to feel connected to the world, to feel connected to other people. This is a really key thing to, to helping to lift somebody. The second thing that you really want to do is not to feed into their negativity. Sometimes in relationships, when someone's being very negative, we can get defensive, we can also be negative too. And then again, this doesn't really help the relationship. If you really want to connect with them, then you can connect with them without lowering your mood, without getting negative with them, without going down to their level of depression. You can empathize with them, show compassion, show love, don't fight their feelings, accept their feelings, but it doesn't mean that you also need to get onto the negative vibe, or also you need to get depressed, also you need to show love, show compassion, stay positive and bring them up, if that makes sense. So that's another thing that is really important. And then the third thing, which is, sounds very basic and you probably already know this, but it's always good to have that reminder, is to make sure that you are doing physical activities, moving the body, releasing any tension, any negativity out of the body through walking or any other exercise that you like to do. That's really, really important. Good nutrition, again, that's really, really important. And third, really listening to them. When we feel that we are valued, that we're being heard, that our opinions, our feelings matter, it's half the problem often gone. And when we feel that we're being ignored, we're unloved, we're disconnected, we feel lonely, it can then make us isolate ourselves further. So this is really how to begin to help somebody to lift them out of that depression. And if they're confused about the relationship, don't really make a big deal out of it. Don't fight them, don't take it too personally. If you really feel that they're going through a high or a low time right now, then just really listen to them and support them by not making it all about you, if that makes sense. Sometimes I see couples where one person's feeling low and depressed and the other person is making it all about them, saying, well, you know, they're doing this, they're doing that. And this is just adding pressure to the person that was already feeling low, if that makes sense. So you want to make sure that you avoid that. If you need any more tips on how to help a loved one through their depression, then do feel free to reach out to me. You can book a free strategy session through my website at nicolabeer.com where we can discuss it. And I can also discuss how I can support you to help them or support you as a couple to get through this low time and into having a thriving life and a thriving relationship. I've also got free resources there, nicolabeer.com. Do check it out. Thanks for watching.